So one of the most popular videos I've made on this channel is the video in which I compare the Magic Trackpad to the Magic Mouse. Two devices that are as popular as they are similar. And in reality, they actually have a lot of differences between both of them, which is why I made that comparison. However, in the time that's passed since I made that video, both the way in which I create the content for this channel and the depth in which I go to have changed drastically, in my opinion, for the better. So I'm going to go ahead and update you guys on whether you should invest in the Magic Trackpad or Magic Mouse in 2021. Okay, there we go. So jumping right into the specs, the Magic Trackpad comes in two colors if you buy straight from Apple, space gray or white. Personally, I obviously have the space gray color as I think it's very clean and minimal, but I also think the white looks very nice. And that's the same color that my dad has in his professional desk setup. However, you can actually get a wide array of colors if you buy it in a bundle with the new iMac that Apple released with their M1 chip. The sides of the trackpad are made from some kind of aluminum or steel, giving it a very high quality feeling along the sides. The top is made from a piece of glass and the bottom is made from some kind of plastic, which usually would bother me, but because of the fact that the bottom is literally always covered by the desk as it's facing downward and you can't see it, it doesn't bother me in any way as the trackpad itself is heavy enough to give me faith in its quality. Moreover, it has a lightning port on the back that you can actually charge it with, which is pretty straightforward. Two minutes will actually give you over nine hours of use according to Apple. And in my experience, that's actually very accurate. If I'm editing a video and I'm charging my phone and I can't give up the charger to the trackpad, I can just plug it in for a few minutes and finish the video with ease and the trackpad will last. And if you let the trackpad charge to its full capacity, Apple quotes that it will last for a month, which again, I believe is absolutely accurate. And I'm a very heavy user as I edit videos for hours on end, just using the trackpad. I don't anymore, but this was back when I used it. And every time it lasted for at least a month, if not longer. And there was a lot of people asking if you can use the Magic Trackpad with the iPad and you absolutely can. The easiest way is to plug the Magic Trackpad straight into the iPad. Under its functionality, it's the exact same as any given Mac trackpad. So anyone who has actually used a Mac for an extended period of time, I'm sure is very familiar with the ways in which the functionality of the trackpad works. And the price tag has actually dropped as of recent with it coming in as low as 119 US dollars on Amazon. Onto the Magic Mouse, you can get the same exact colors as the Magic Trackpad, including the iMac situation. So I think that it has a nice wide array of colors. And personally, I think that Space Gray looks the best, but once again, my dad went ahead and got the white color and they both do look very nice on any given desk. Similar to the Magic Trackpad, the top is made from a piece of glass with the bottom being made from aluminum and the parts that touch the desk are made from some kind of plastic that can be very loud at certain times, but is durable nonetheless. And as I'm sure many of you are aware, the lightning port is actually on the bottom of the Magic Mouse, a fatal flaw that Apple for some reason decides to keep introducing into their newer and newer versions of the mouse. And Apple claims that the Magic Mouse has the same exact battery life as the Magic Trackpad with two minutes getting you nine hours and a full charge lasting you a month. Once again, in my experience, after some extended editing use, I think this is completely accurate and even an understatement to a certain degree. And finally, it's price. You can find the Magic Mouse 2 on Amazon for as low as 79 US dollars. My thoughts in regard to the devices, starting with the Magic Trackpad, I think it has much better functionality, much better ergonomics, and overall, it just looks better in my opinion. And it's easier to learn as in my opinion with the Magic Trackpad, if you think that something's gonna work in a certain way, it probably works in that way. For example, if you wanna zoom in, most people would just assume you pinch to zoom in and that is completely true. If you wanna zoom out, you do the opposite of pinching to zoom out. And that's something I really value is I switched from a PC to a MacBook. So I was kind of nervous when it came to editing videos, but in reality, it was just as easy as thinking that something would probably work in a certain way. And it worked in that same way with the Magic Trackpad. And while the Magic Mouse shares a lot of these same qualities, like the intuitive design, making it really easy to learn to use, it also lacks in a lot of these categories. Like I think the ergonomics are hilariously bad. And obviously the charging port situation is just horrendous, especially for 2021, as this has been a problem for half a decade at least. But the Magic Mouse does have a redeeming quality. If you're working with two 32 inch monitors like I am, the Magic Trackpad can become not as practical as if you have something you're trying to drag across the screen for some reason and you need to do it in one fail swoop, trying to get your mouse across 32 inches or 64 inches of screen real estate can be quite the challenge on the Magic Trackpad as it's just so small and most people don't have their sensitivity to max. And that's where the Magic Mouse comes in handy as you can just drag it across the top of your desk or any surface for that matter. 
But then that brings in the question of why not just buy the Logitech MX Master 3 that is only $20 more expensive and is way better than the Magic Mouse in my opinion. So in conclusion, as I'm sure many of you have figured out by now, I would obviously strongly recommend in investing in the Magic Trackpad over the Magic Mouse. And there is very few situations where I would recommend investing in the Magic Mouse over the Magic Trackpad or any other mouse for that matter. Thank you for watching and please do leave any comments on how you think I could improve these videos as I'm obviously experimenting with the different ways I film, edit, or even record these talking headshots. Also, please do consider subscribing as only 1% of the people who watch my videos are subscribed and as a small content creator like myself, any and all support really does help.